Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mac if you are new here and I'm so glad that you're here watching this because today I'm gonna to be showing you how I trend research. I am gonna be giving you literally my entire process of how I do this. And this is taking me such a long time to learn, so I think it's really cool that I'm sharing it with you and hopefully you'll be able to stay till the end of the video and see literally everything that I do to trend research. A little bit of background about researching. If you are selling print on demand, which is mainly what this channel is about, you cannot really be successful in print on demand without trend research. It is literally so important. It's something that if you don't do, you're not gonna make any money with print on demand if I'm just being honest. So it's my pleasure to show you exactly how I do all of this and I think it's really cool. I do have some Actually, I have mostly free ways of doing this and there is one paid way, but I'm still gonna show you because I think it is a good investment. If you're just starting out, you don't need it yet, but I do think it's something that you should plant in your mind as a seed that you can eventually you know, use in the future when you do have the capital to pay for it monthly. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm gonna share my screen with you and show you everything and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so you will be able to see me and my screen now and basically I am just on Etsy right now and this is going to be our first way of trend researching. I think that this is honestly one of the best ways just because especially when you're selling on Etsy with print on demand, I mean, to see what people on Etsy have a demand for is the most important. Um, and yeah, this is a super cool way because it's free and it takes literally two seconds. So what you're gonna do is just go up to this search bar here and click it. Okay, and see what comes up now. This is not what I have typed in to look for. This is literally what a ton of people are typing in right now to search for on Etsy. So reproductive rights shirt, which is something that is going on in the world right now. Uh, Buffalo Bills, not really sure about that. Do not comply, not sure about that. Law of attraction. So these are things that people are searching for actively on Etsy. So if I was looking for something to sell about or if I have a non-niche specific store or if I do have a niche specific store, I'll get to that. But this is just trend researching. So if you're looking for something to sell, here you go. This will literally show you freedom of your force. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff here. So I'm just going to click on the law of attraction because that is something that I hold deeply to my heart. And we are going to go ahead and see what people are selling. So mainly this is journals, manifestation stuff, jewelry, popular now. See how this says popular now here? That is really important because that, like I said, shows you that people are buying it right now. Um, okay. So if you're not familiar with the law of attraction, it's basically manifestations and bringing abundance to the things that you want in your life through a specific way of thinking and manifesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and now this is the second step to this. So once the law of attraction is in your search bar, you see how when you click, a bunch of other stuff shows up. So we have planner, which is similar to a journal um, that you can sell on print on demand, but I mean, planners are a little bit more difficult, but you can still sell a journal and then spell digital planner shirt bracelet printable okay so we have three things there four things actually that you could sell print on demand now we have a planner like i said you could do as a journal we have a shirt that you can absolutely sell print on demand we have a printable which is like a poster that you can you know, send to someone that is a literal poster that'll show up in the mail, or we have printables, which is where you make a PNG file and you simply send that PNG file to your customers selling it at really low cost and they buy it and they can print it out on their own. So these are right here. We already have four things that we could potentially make one design, sell on every single one of those things and make money from, which is crazy because that took us how long? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and go a little bit further with that. So I took and hit the space bar. Now you can see that there are stickers coming up. There is wall art coming up. There is journal, like I was mentioning. So this is giving you an idea of all different things that you can sell that people are literally actively looking for. I think this is such a cool Etsy feature that honestly, not a lot of people know about. Um, some people that I have spoke to about it are like, oh, I just thought that was you know, whatever. And if you haven't been a seller before, you probably did too. So that's something that's really cool. And I definitely recommend using that. So the second way that you can use the Etsy search bar is if you already have something that you sell, if you already have a trend that you are working on and you're looking for new inspiration and design. So let's say we are going for fall sweatshirts. That has been a topic that I keep using on here, but it's a valid one. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in fall and that already shows you, okay, people are looking for Reeves, here's sweatshirt. So we're gonna type in fall sweatshirt. 
Then I'm gonna go a little further like I just did. Click on the last thing, push the space bar. So for women, and then see down here, oh, interesting, why did that happen? Okay, so now see how it says fall in, fall sweatshirt, women, embroidered, mock-ups. So a lot of people are looking for mock-ups for brand on demand reasons, spooky season. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on spooky season. So now we have just double niche down. Not only are we looking for fall sweatshirts, we are looking for fall sweatshirts with spooky season on them. So then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click on, not search by relevancy, I'm gonna click on most recent. Most recent on the Etsy search engine will show you what has most recently been posted, but also what has most recently been sold. So you are looking at sweatshirts that are either brand new and posted or have just sold. So ignore this whole first column here. See how it says add? That means that they're paying for us to see that, so that's not organic traffic. Now that we're down here, okay, so we have this sweatshirt with the crystal ball on here. We have the stay spooky with the skeleton. I see a lot of boo, Salem stuff. Make sure you're staying away from things like this, even though it says popular now, that is a completely copyrighted design. Same with this one. Do not do that. I know it's tempting to make sales off of other brand stuff and it works, but you can get shut down and sued. So that's not fun. Okay, so we're gonna keep going. Spooky season, okay, so I mean, in, the designer in me is already getting inspiration from this. You may have to kinda, you know, do this for a while, but see, this is what I'm talking about with, you don't have to be super skilled with print on demand. Look at this pumpkin sweatshirt. It's literally three embroidered pumpkins on a brown sweatshirt. They're selling it for $35. So their profit margin's pretty good because I'm assuming that that sweatshirt costs them anywhere from 12 to $17, depending. Free shipping, so they are eating the shipping cost, but this looks like they are making it as a print on demand product, it's popular now, they're selling it, and they have reviews, which means it is actively selling. Hang loose. So this is the best way that you can go ahead and do this process on Etsy. I think it looks works really well. I am gonna show you one more way on Etsy because like I said, I am just giving it all today. I am completely going for it. This is the ABC method. Um, it can go all the way to XYZ method, but basically what you do is you type in the letter A and you see what comes up and that'll show you what people are searching for under the letter A, the most popular things. So people are looking for anime, they're looking for art prints, AirPod cases, anniversary gifts for boyfriend, you get the gist. B, bridesmaid gifts, which are a huge money maker, bridesmaid, anything baby shower, bridesmaid, personalized stuff is a money maker, um, which with print on demand is very easy to do. And when we type C, we see clothing, crystals, you get the point. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on from Etsy, but hopefully one of those tips was helpful. So now we're gonna go ahead over to Google Trends. Google Trends is a little bit more for a drop shipping if you're doing a drop shipping product store, not necessarily print on demand, but you can still use it. So I'm gonna just show you it anyway, um, but I do think that it works a little bit better for other things, but print on demand, any juice that you can get for free, any good information for free, use it. The most, the least amount of money you can put into a small business is the best, so why not try it out? So once we're on Google Trends, you can kind of go ahead and do a scroll there, but um, you're gonna find a bunch of news related things, which can be good sellers, but you wanna make sure, you know, like with the football teams and stuff that you're not copywriting. So I'm gonna go ahead and stay away from that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in sweatshirt and see if anything comes up. And like I said, this, this can work sometimes and sometimes it stinks, so it's worth a try though. So we're seeing, Related topics, Among Us sweatshirt, Tax the Rich sweatshirt, Bernie Sanders, Tax the Rich sweatshirt seems to be appearing a lot. Um, I'm not really sure why, but you get the gist, like using Google Translate, it doesn't have to be the best um, thing, but you can go ahead and change it to past day. So let's try that. Maybe something more relevant will come up and you see. So again, this just happens to be a lot of copyrighted things, Mickey Mouse sweatshirt, Looney Tunes sweatshirt, but this is this doesn't hurt to come on and play around with. It really doesn't. You can still get, you know, different trends that you could try to do. See plain white sweatshirt is trending, so you could do a white sweatshirt with a really simple design. Playboy again, copyrighted, but still, like I said, go on here, try it out, see if you can find something, type in your niche, maybe something in your niche will pop up that you didn't even know was trending. You can do the same thing on Twitter, but um, Google Trends can be great. 
but that is the example that I'm gonna show you. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on and we are gonna to go to Pinterest trends. If you are not aware about Pinterest trends, I never was because when I first started selling, I never knew that there was a business side to Pinterest. I just thought that Pinterest was, you know, Pinterest. I didn't know that there was a business side to it. And I guess that's something that we don't think about until we choose to do online income. And then we really see, wow, everything is a business here. Um, so basically Pinterest trends is awesome. So we can see what is trending here homecoming, fall nails. So we're getting into fall. So that is going to be like a huge thing. If you don't get your fall listings up within the next two weeks, I would say skip it and just start doing Christmas. The reason I say that is because there are already so many people with their fall stuff on platforms that you might not even be worth it unless you hit a trend that you find on one of these or on TikTok or something. So I would say if you don't get those posting, if you don't get those listings up within the next two weeks, go ahead and just start selling for Christmas, it's not worth it to get into the Halloween stuff. And when people start ordering late because your items were posted late, then you have bad reviews because your items weren't fulfilled and they didn't get it on time. So I suggest just going to Christmas if you hadn't jumped on this trend yet, but that's just a side note. So we're seeing fairy costumes. So that's something to keep in mind. Like I just like doing this when, you know, I'm just trying to get ideas of things. So let's click on fall outfits. So as we can see with Pinterest trends, fall outfits in the last week of August, the first week of September started to skyrocket. This is something that people are looking for. They want fall outfits. So that gives you the opportunity to look into that. So let's click on this one right here. This is an ad for a print on demand product, pumpkin, my eyes, pumpkin, bonfires, hoodies, leaves, football. So something as simple as that, they are making money off of through a print on demand store. So this is basically what you would do is just kind of go on here. Don't copy. If you see something that you're looking at and it intrigues you, don't copy it. It's okay to take inspiration, but we're just on here researching. We're not on here copying. So that's something to keep in mind. But basically using Pinterest trends is really cool because you can go ahead and just go onto their page, see what's trending. You know, there's some cottage core, dark academia stuff. We have the plaid, which is really cool. Easy way to do a plaid on different pillows. You can do plaid on hats. You can do plaid on um, dresses on print on demand or shirts. So that's really cool. Um, we see for the colors too, we're getting all the auburns, the dark greens. Green is going to be a really in color coming for fall and winter this year. Not necessarily like this color green is cool, but um, the bright green is like in for whatever reason. I don't know how I feel about that, but do with that information what you will because see like this green that's gonna be um, trending with the stuff. Another thing too, when you're trend researching is think of you know what mock-ups you could have. So let's say you have a shirt like this. Like let's say you're selling this white shirt that's underneath this sweatshirt here. What a perfect way to market that shirt under a cardigan so that someone has that personal connection. Wow, I have a cardigan like that. That would look so cute. That would look awesome. So that's not really a topic on trend researching, but that gives you an idea of, you know, marketing aspect and making someone have a personal connection to a product. This is literally done perfectly. And yeah, that's something that I suggest. So another way that you can do this when you're not actually in Pinterest trends is just by going to the search bar and typing in what exactly you're selling. Um, let's say you're selling, again, we're gonna use Halloween and fall. So Halloween sweatshirt. And boom, look at all these cool, fun things that pop up. I mean, the ideas are endless. There are so many cool things that you can do. Like I said, don't copy. But I mean, this is like a huge thing that people do. The pumpkins with the skeleton hands holding the pumpkin boobs, um, bats, pumpkins, all these cool things. I mean, there's so many different options for selling. Hello, pumpkin. See, and then we're even having some Christmas stuff popping up off of promotion. See, Etsy.com. So that is something that they have integrated. So this is just another cool way to trend research. So another way that you can do this for free is on AliExpress. This is a drop shipping platform that if you've seen my other videos is really cool, but um, I'm gonna show you how to see what's trending. So we're gonna go on here and just go to women's fashion. 
or if you are looking in men's or whatever. And basically just by going up here and clicking orders and what that'll show you is what people have bought. So if we wanted to get more specific here, I'm going to type in Halloween sweatshirts. And then I'm going to click on orders. And that is going to show us what people have bought. So one is spooky as spooky af and basically just going on here and seeing because this shows you what people are searching for all over the world so we have that same pumpkin sweatshirt there's a lot of dark sweatshirts on here which is different from what we were seeing on etsy um a lot of pumpkins so this is another way just to look and see what your trend is and see some trendy pictures here um, this one we keep seeing on Etsy as well, Farm Fresh Pumpkins. So basically, if you kind of use all of these platforms to your advantage, it can potentially give you one set idea or five set ideas that you can then go and then create all of your designs and start selling these because you know that there is an actual demand for them. So that is really cool and that is another free way to do it. So now on to my last way I'm gonna show you about trend researching is the paid method. But like I had talked about a little bit, they're not sponsoring this video at all, but I personally use this platform literally every day when I'm trend researching, whether it's for drop shipping, reselling, whatever, print on demand, this is a key way to find trends. This is a browser extension called eRank. It is a website. You do have to pay for it. I don't know the cost off the top of my head, but I will have it linked down for you in the description below. They do have a free trial program, but you can't see everything. So I would just recommend going ahead and paying for it, but I understand that not everybody can right now and that's okay. But I'm going to go here to trend buzz. Sorry, this chair keeps turning. And as you can see, this is what's trending. You can't see my hand. This is what's trending on Etsy in the USA. So you can decide if you want to do it yesterday, past seven days, past 14 days. I'm going to just keep it on yesterday. And it literally shows you what is trending, like what people are looking for. So we're obviously looking for a lot of Halloween things, personalized gifts, handmade stuff, which we can't do, graphic tees, anime, you know. So this is the real see here how it says like ha 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 and then this one will tell you that it's down so that wouldn't be something that you go for mushroom you could do a mushroom themed halloween sweatshirt i know it sounds weird but if people are looking for it people are gonna buy it see it's hot right now so fairies i keep seeing fairies so that must be something that's gonna be really popular halloween costume i saw it on pinterest etsy and now e-rank so as you can see this platform is just the legit results like you're paying for literal results so people are looking for sweatshirts and hoodies so definitely lean towards selling those rather than t-shirts teacher stuff is still going um christmas is already trending but you get the point of what i'm showing you so the next thing i'm going to show you on e ring is the keyword stuff so i'm going to type in halloween just a specific word if you're um, selling camping stuff you would type in camping you get what I'm saying you would type in you know whatever you're looking for and then down here it's going to show you should you sell this okay so what we're looking at is Etsy competition now see with just the word Halloween here everything is red like it's like don't do it but if you go down here and you see this one that is green you're gonna see that there's a 42% click-through rate, which is pretty eh, average. And then we're gonna see the average searches, which is pretty high for a such niche down thing. So people are looking for Halloween vintage sweatshirts. So that is something that you would go after. So we just kind of scroll along here and see. I'm gonna type in another thing. So instead of using Halloween sweatshirt, see here it says Halloween sweater. So this is a good way to get like keywords and kind of optimize your listings to stand out from everything else. So not only are you picking up on trends like vintage Halloween, you could literally put vintage Halloween sweater instead of sweatshirt and you would probably rank higher because someone that types that in is gonna see your listing rather than seeing the other listings of that everyone's typing the same stuff. Um, I'm gonna go up here and type in skeleton sweatshirt. And it'll show you similar results here. And see here too, you can see if it's trending on all of the platforms. If you click 
on these little things here on the market trends. But okay, so now we see skeleton sweatshirt, yes. So when this says yes, it's green. The click-through rate is pretty low, but that may just be because, you know, not a lot of people are selling it, so not a lot of people are seeing it. So that's something that I would do. I would make a skeleton sweatshirt and have that first keyword as skeleton sweatshirt followed by whatever um, other words that have to do with your research that you've done for Etsy SEO and how to rank on there. But um, yeah, this platform is really cool. It shows you everything. It can really be helpful too. It shows you not only what is ranking and trending on Etsy, but there's also ways to look on here to see what's been spotted on Amazon, what's hot. Like if I go to the what's hot tab, it shows you everything. So I definitely think, see, okay, yeah. So I can click Amazon instead, which I know I don't talk a lot about Amazon yet on here that is coming soon, but this tells you exactly what people are looking for on Amazon. So if you are drop shipping, this is still a great platform for you to use because it literally tells you like LED lights, laptops, pa um, paper towels, you know, extension cords, shower heads, which are just a huge thing to sell as a drop shipping product. I mean, you can see the opportunities are endless with this stuff, but this is just another tool that you can use to help you really scale and become a better shop and get more people on your page. Okay guys, so I hope that some of this was helpful to you. I know this was a longer video than I normally make, but I feel like it's important to talk about these things. I don't see a lot of videos that really show you how to trend research. And I would have loved this when I was first starting out. So I really hope that any of this information was valuable to you. If you did like this video, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. It helps my small channel grow and I really appreciate all of your feedback. So please let me know what you thought and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.